Okay, folks, so these are the Red Wing Mokto, the Vibram sole on them. I uh, bought them about six weeks ago, and all is not well. Um, at first glance, they, they, they look all right, don't they? Look like a typical Red Wing. But if you have a, a closer look, and I'm going to show you, um, they're very, very poorly built. Look at this one now um, on the right. See where the stitch in there? It's right on the edge of the welt. Can you see that? And the further in it goes, the worse it gets. Difficult to get it on film. So if you wanted to resole this one, the welt would have to come off, which probably means that the inner sole has to come off. But the whole idea of a good year welt is so that uh, you can resole them more easily. Um, but this one, you're not going to be doing that because the welt's too far in. Let's let's take another closer look. Can you see that lump there? Can you see that? See how how it comes round and there's like a load of leather here, and there's absolutely well the stitching's right to the edge there. Very very poor craftsmanship. Um, the toes the toes on them likewise. You've got a lot more leather here than you do there. The margin's bad. Now, I'm only pointing this out because um, they are heritage boots. They're expensive. This one's the same. Uh, you've got a lot more leather here on the welt than you do here. And it's the same. It gets tighter and tighter to the to the welt as you go around. Um, look where the welt joins there. See, <laughs> see the ugly big hole? You see that? Ugly big hole. <laughs> it's not good, I'm telling you. It's not good. Um, here, this is a bit bad here. This, well, it's very bad. Now, from the top, it doesn't look too bad, but the sole is undermined there. Right, look at the state on that. Can you see that? Can you see how the sole is like tapered in there and the welt is sticking up on along the edge? It's very, very bad. Again, if you wanted to resole them, the welt would have to come off. Um, I could go on. Here's something else I've clocked. I know we've been petty, but it's a change. Look at the frayed label there. Okay, they're using like a different material. Um, the other ones are the same. They've got their nice new frayed label red wings. You see the th threads hanging off them. It wouldn't be long before that would come off. Now, it says made in the USA on them. Now... I contacted Red Wing instantly. They asked for proof of photographs of the, you know, the bad workmanship. Again, just clocked it here. The welt is all sticking up like a razor edge there, and the sole is—it's it, just bad. It's tape. It's tapered in. Camera can't quite see it, but anyway, I took the photographs, sent them off to Red Wing, um, and they were perfect, clear shots that showed the what I'm showing you now. In particular, that big ugly lump and the stick, the bad stitching along here, wasn't good enough. They wanted more, so I've done it again. Um, and I asked them a few questions. Um, I don't know if you've heard the rumours about uh, Red Wing using China for their products, and it seems that they have been doing. So, I've had emails from America, Europe, Britain, all sorts. And I get mistakes, okay? I'm a carpenter, and I definitely make mistakes, the same as every other man who uses his hands or woman. But an old guy once told me, as a young chippy, he said, a professional is not somebody who doesn't make mistakes, because we all do. He said, a professional is somebody who doesn't leave mistakes. Now, that is a philosophy I've gone by my whole life. Um... This is a two-part problem, okay? The errors I get, I, I can I can forgive errors. Um, but what I can't forgive is that they've been sold as perfect. These are not even seconds. They're not merchantable. If you're paying for what they describe as a heritage product and they're selling you something that can't be resold because the welt's been ground away in an ugly, bad fashion, then they're not what you're, you're paying for. Now, as a carpenter, I've got 
Chinese tools. I've got no problem with Chinese products, none whatsoever. I've got a Makita Chinese chop saw, half the price of a Japanese one, but it's great. It does the job, and I've used it for a few years, and it's it's absolutely fine. On the other hand, I've got a, a Makita Japanese router, which is far superior to the Chinese router I've got, um, where the extra accuracy or longevity is required. I, I will pay the extra bucks. But the thing is, Makita haven't lied to me. I know what I'm getting, and I make the decision accordingly. And I'm concerned that Red Wing are selling these off as American, and I don't believe they are, to be honest with you. Um, what I can tell you is this. I had a conversation with uh, one of their top boys in Europe, a fella called Dominic in Germany today, and this is the first time I've actually had words with them, you know, uh, conversation. For six weeks, it's just been emails and no satisfaction. So he asked me, what do you want? And I said, I've had enough. I said, I'm very disappointed with the boots. I just want them gone and I want a refund and that's it. Why are you so mad? He says to me. Very, very peculiar comment. I said, I'm not mad. I said, I'm just, I haven't got time for this kind of nonsense. I said, I just want it dealt with. He goes, okay, we'll do that. He's very abrupt and uh, he didn't apologize. He didn't say, I'm sorry that you've had the hassle. I'm sorry you're disappointed. Um, is there anything we can do to assist? He didn't offer anything. He just made that peculiar comment. Uh, why are you so mad? How does he know how I feel? I've only sent him emails. Well, I've sent them emails, not him. Um, I honestly think he was trying to goad me. I honestly do. Whatever the case, Red Wing are doing something different than they used to. Um, they're passing off badly made boots in comparison to what they used to make and they're selling them as heritage boots and they're not they're not what they used to be uh, I think Red Wing are too cheap to be honest with you if you look at Nicks and Whites they're a bit dearer but you can guarantee that they're American <clears throat> anyway in conclusion <clears throat> After sales with Red Wing? No, there isn't any. Um, I've asked, no, not nobody will reassure me that these are American made boots. I've asked the question over and over again. They will not reassure me. And none of them, including this Dominic guy, um, would convince me either. They wouldn't reassure me that they weren't made in China. I've asked these questions and they will not tackle them. They just go silent. Um, no apologies, non-apologetic, and, well, they just treated me like I'm a nuisance, I'd say, um, just because I'm not happy with their product anymore. So my journey with Red Wing is, is over. I won't be wearing their stuff again. Um, got a nice new pair of Ariat, no problems with them. Um, if you're going to buy them, my advice to you would be, See if you can lock them down with an email first and get them to guarantee you that their products are American made and that that's what you're buying. Maybe they are. Maybe these are. But they bloody well wouldn't confirm it. I can tell you that now or deny that they were Chinese. <laughs> they would not do that. You can search out the rumours for yourself um, online. There's plenty to be said on them. So there it is. Uh, Red Wing, very disappointed with you folks. Very, very disappointed indeed. Especially... The, the lack of manning up and uh, just answering some questions and trying to help me out a bit to understand why things have gone gone bad. And that's it. So uh, the choice is yours, folks. Personally, I'd recommend you look at the competitors and uh, don't be led down the road like I have because they will not look after you if you find something wrong. Well, if they treat you the way they've treated me, they will not look after you. So there it is. Um, hope this is of some kind of benefit to somebody if you're thinking in investing in a good pair of boots. And uh, there we are. You, you take your, you pay your money, you take your chance.